right then. There are 26 letters in the alphabet, and sometimes it's strange how some of the biggest icons are given names beginning with the letter R, right? And in today's video, we will be looking at exactly those names. But stay till the end, because you will be seeing plays and goals that will blow your mind. Subscribe. Number 10, Frank Reichard. Starting with the number 10, we have a name that few of you would have expected. Frank Reichold was one of those players who will be remembered not only for his incredible success at club and international level, but also as one of the players who revolutionised the defensive midfielder position. Alongside legends like Pep Guardiola and Sergio Busquets, Reichold will be regarded as one of the most elegant and versatile players in the pivot position. Adept at linking defence and attack, he enjoyed great success at both Ajax and especially Milan, where he was part of the Rossoneri's golden generation. In the late 80s and 90s, Reichold, along with compatriot Ruud Hallett and Marco van Basten, transformed Milan into the best team in the world. Yes, he was one of those icons who went under the radar during his career, but Reichold was undoubtedly a truly magical player to watch. A man every coach in the world would love to have. Creative, excellent in defence, a terrific long-range shot. He had it all. On top of that, he won almost everything possible in his career. Five Eredivisie titles, two Serie A titles, two European Super Cups, three Champions Leagues, and of course, the icing on the cake. Euro 1988 with the Netherlands. Reichold's third Champions League, won with Ajax in 1995, also puts him in the elite company of players who've won three editions of the tournament with two different teams. Number 9. Marcus Rashford Next up, we have one of the most controversial players in recent years. Marcus Rashford, like many other footballers who've been hailed as superstars at an early age in their careers, Rashford has exhibited the typical superstar behaviour of going out and clubbing, buying expensive and fancy things, but are always showing his class on the pitch. However, not having the richest trophy cabinet or individual awards, Rashford is still one of the best players when he's in form. At one point in the 22-23 season, he was even considered a Ballon d'Or favourite, having had the form of his life in the span of about three months. Between January and March 2023, he had an impressive 23 goal involvements in 20 games, scoring against teams such as Barcelona, Manchester City, Arsenal and Newcastle in the League Cup final. Speaking of potential, he has the qualities to be the best player in the world by a mile. Speed, dribbling, creativity, final pass, deadly finishing. Don't be surprised if someone tells you that Rashford looks like Kylian Mbappe in terms of playing style. Yes, the two have many similarities, but the difference is that one is on the verge of winning the Ballon d'Or and signing a Real Madrid contract in the coming weeks, while the other is slowly fading away as a top player. There are many opinions as to why Rashford is so inconsistent, with most suggesting that he needs to leave Man United if he's to reach even 80% of his potential. Yes, time will tell. But with the right mindset, Rashford still has time to climb to the top of the footballing mountain. Number 8. James Rodriguez Yes, Rashford might waste his potential, but what about James Rodriguez? The 32-year-old was one of the most entertaining players to watch in his prime, but several circumstances prevent him from leaving a deeper mark. Maybe he moved to Real Madrid too early. Maybe he wasn't decisive in the biggest matches. Yes, the reasons could be a lot. But James definitely enters the list of the players who didn't live up to the expectations, alongside other magicians like Felipe Coutinho and Edin Hazard, for example. Just remember his superb strike against Uruguay in the 2014 World Cup. A performance worth millions. He actually won the golden boot in that tournament, scoring six goals in total. He then moved to Real Madrid where he never quite regained that form. In fact, then-manager Carlo Ancelotti gave him a regular starting place as Rodriguez had 32 goal involvements in 46 appearances for Real Madrid in the 2014-15 season. And then... With the arrival of Zinedine Zidane in early 2016, James's downfall began. He was no longer a starter for Madrid, having a rotational role mainly in the minor games in La Liga and the Spanish Cup. In 2017-18, James Rodriguez showed signs of resurgence on loan at Bayern Munich, 
but it wasn't enough for him to return to the Santiago Bernabeu with the same reputation. Now 32, he is seemingly completely forgotten by the fans, nearing the end of his time in the Brazilian team, Sao Paulo. 7. Raul In the next position of best players, starting with the letter R, we have Raul Gonzalez Blanco, one of the most versatile strikers of the last 30 years. He reaped incredible success with Real Madrid, being part of Los Blancos between 1994 and 2010. 16 years at the Santiago Bernabeu is an impressive feat, and he can deservedly be called a legend of the club. Interestingly, however, he started his career in one of the biggest rivals of Real Madrid, Atletico, passing through the junior formations aged 13. Then in 1994, he started his journey at the Santiago Bernabeu. His magnificent performances in Madrid ended up with 323 goals and 115 assists in 741 games. Subscribe. Moreover, he's the third best goal scorer in the history of Real Madrid, only beyond Cristiano Ronaldo and Karim Benzema. When it comes to his silverware with the team, he won three Champions League and six La Liga titles. On an individual level, his best season remains 2000-2001 when he was runner-up to Michael Owen for the Ballon d'Or. Back then, Raul was the main man beyond Real Madrid's La Liga triumph, having 27 goal contributions throughout the season. And to really emphasise his greatness for Madrid, let's go back to 2009, when the club brought in Cristiano Ronaldo. As you know, Cristiano's favourite number is seven. Well, Raul had been wearing the exact number for 13 years, and although Ronaldo was expected to be the team's new superstar, the club insisted that Raul continue to wear the number seven. And interestingly, the 2009-10 season remains the only one in Ronaldo's career when he didn't wear his favourite number. That is how special Raul was to the Madrid fans. Number six, Frank Ribéry. Climbing up the ladder of the most successful footballers beginning with the letter R, we get to big Frank Ribéry, a treble and Champions League winner, World Cup finalist, nine-time Bundesliga title holder and third-place finisher for the Ballon d'Or. Ribéry was a special player with spectacular talent, widely regarded as one of the best wingers in modern history. That's why it isn't surprising that he was called the jewel of French football by Zinedine Zidane. However, the beginning of his career wasn't promising. Not at all. For the first seven years of his professional career, he couldn't establish himself as a regular at any club. Two seasons at his boyhood club Boulogne, one year at LA, one at Brest, one at Metz, one at Galatasaray before joining Marseille in 2005. Nothing impressive by Ribéry, and he was already 23 years old. It was concerning that he wouldn't be able to fulfil his potential, but then came the first moment of brilliance from him. The 2006 World Cup. He was one of the surprise call-ups for the tournament, but Ribéry lived up to the expectations. He was a star for the team that finished second and produced some exceptional performances, including a vital equaliser against Spain in the round of 16. From there on, Ribéry's career only began to move upwards. After his transfer to Bayern Munich in 2007, he spent 12 years at the Allianz Arena, having 306 goal contributions in 425 games. He was one of the best in the world and fully deserved to win the Ballon d'Or, especially in 2013, as a result, his fans will never forget the controversy, or perhaps even the robbery, he suffered when he was overlooked for the award. Number 5. Arjen Robin. And mentioning robbery, next we have the other player who makes the Dream by Munich duo, Arjen Robin. The Dutchman was an equally magical footballer who had it all. A spectacular dribble a madly brilliant chance-creating ability and a deadly shot with his left foot. Of course, when we talk about Arjen Robin, we can't overlook his trademark move on the pitch. A right winger for most of his career, Robin's favourite skill was to cut inside, put the ball to his left and shoot into the far corner. He has scored dozens, if not hundreds of goals using this trick and it is safe to say that he always caught the goalkeepers off guard, even though he never changed it. Playing for the German side between 2009 and 2019, Robin was widely regarded as the best Dutch player in the 2010s. 
He won a total of 16 trophies with Bayern, including eight Bundesliga titles, five German Cups, and of course, the greatest moment of his career, the winning goal against Borussia Dortmund in the 2013 Champions League final. Before that, he had brief spells at other big clubs, Chelsea and Real Madrid, but his best years were undoubtedly with Bayern Munich, where he won everything. Number four, Rivaldo. And with Rivaldo at number four, we enter the territory of arguably the best footballers whose names start with R. Rivaldo. What a player he was. Highly regarded as one of the greatest, most skillful and most creative players of all time. Apart from being deadly in the penalty box, thanks to his impressive physique, he was also an insanely fabulous creator. Undoubtedly, his finest years came at Barcelona, where he spent five seasons between 1997 and 2002. During that time, he was the most influential player for the Catalans. Although he shared the pitch with other incredible attackers, such as Luis Figo and Patrick Cliver, he scored 130 goals in five years, won the La Liga title twice, as well as the Spanish Cup in 1998. However, if we have to recall his most memorable moment for Barca, it would be the hat-trick against Valencia in 2001. An amazing free kick, a thunderous strike from distance, and a 20-yard bicycle kick winner. This is still considered one of the best hat-tricks of all time. Pure brilliance. However, his contribution to the Brazilian national team was also remarkable, as he won the 2002 World Cup. That tournament could be considered the pinnacle of his career as he scored two goals in the knockout stages to help his country to the ultimate triumph. Number three, Cristiano Ronaldo. Before we go any further, though, a quick disclaimer. Each of the next three names deserves to be at number one. So if you have any objections to our list, you can give your suggestions in the comments section below. What can we say about Cristiano Ronaldo? Much has been said, much has been done, and he remains one of the best players the footballing world has ever seen. Arguably the greatest goal scorer and easily the best poacher in the game, Cristiano has won absolutely everything he could have won in his career, apart from the World Cup. Once regarded simply as an excellent player, he kept getting better and better and better, particularly during his first spell at Man United. Ronaldo improved with every game until he reached a point where he was at the top of his game for an incredibly long time. Just look at the period between 2016 and 2018. Three Champions League trophies, one La Liga title and the Euros with Portugal in 2016. Undoubtedly, the player with the longest prime in football history. Number two, Ronaldinho. One of the legends in the game, Ronaldinho Gaucho was the real deal during most of his career. Before Leo Messi took to the big stage, Ronaldinho was the best dribbler in the recent history of the game. He performed his specialities in such a magical and captivating way that even the opposing fans applauded. But he was special to the footballing world, not only because of his brilliant skills. To many, he was more than just an incredible player. He was a global cultural icon for the sport. A man everyone associated with football and everyone loved to watch. Truly one of the most unconventional players of all time. He was magical in every creative aspect of the game. Even his brilliant free kicks were unforgettable. And while many of his records may have been broken by the players who came after him, there's one that may not be broken anytime soon. Ronaldinho is the only player in history to have won the World Cup, Copa America, Confederations Cup, Copa Libertadores, Champions League, and Ballon d'Or. Number one, Ronaldo Fenomeno. Apart from Messi, Maradona, and Pele, can you think of a player with a higher ceiling than Ronaldo Fenomeno? Yes, R9 was a God-given talent, a sky-high potential a true force of nature. One of football's most beloved gentlemen. He could easily be at the top of many other rankings, including most admired players of all time. The fact that he played for both Milan Giants 
AC Milan and Inter Milan, as well as Real Madrid and Barcelona, and still remain the world's favourite, speaks for itself. But in 1999, playing for Inter, Nazario suffered one of football's most horrific injuries, tearing his ACL. After that, he spent over a year recovering, but was never the same. Technically, he actually won more valuable silverware after that horrible day. For example, the World Cup in 2002. But on a purely individual level, he lost a lot of the quickness and sharpness in his movements, something that is quite typical after such a serious injury. Something interesting, though, for which R9 doesn't get enough recognition, he is one of the very few players who's won more valuable honours on an individual level than he does with his team. This is mostly due to the fact that at the club level, R9 hasn't been able to establish himself in one team for long, spending the longest time at Real Madrid between 2002 and 2007. Two Ballon d'Ors, World Cup Golden Shoe, as well as dozens of awards for the best player in a season, both in Spain and Italy. Going back to the start of the video, we talked about Rashford and Rodriguez as players with wasted potential. Well, although we speak of R9 as one of the world's greatest legends, just imagine if he'd been lucky enough to avoid that terrible injury in 1999. With all that being said, we've got to the end of today's episode. What other star players beginning with the letter R can you think of? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, if you enjoyed that one, don't forget to give us a like and check some of our latest uploads. Bye for now, and until next time. Hey, GOF. It's all about the phenomenon for me, mate. R9. Absolute bad man. Like and subscribe.